guys, this is Paige. Um, I want to make this video about being led by the Spirit, okay? And um, how if you're young in Christ and you don't know how to be led by the Spirit yet, it's better for you to just try to please God um, in small ways. Like for, for example, maybe if you would go preach the gospel in, in a comment or if you would go and... Um, give a track to someone, you know, I'm not talking about teaching, because um, to teach you have to understand scripture better, um, and the New Testament, and certain scriptures, and the Holy Spirit will reveal to you the knowledge, and all that stuff, and, and he'll show you if he wants you to teach, but it's better for you to do some small things to try to please God, to under, to, to try to hear the Holy Spirit and to under, and to understand what he wants you to do. Um, and I kind of like, this is a good, a good way of thinking because even when I'm out and I'm going to give someone a tract or something and the devil, um, can come in and, and be like, oh, you shouldn't do this because, you know, what if they react this way? Like say this happens to you, you know, um, it's better for you to try and fail than to not try at all. Not that I always give tracks or whatever. Um, but this is just a good way to, you know, a good thing to remember so that you can be serving God and working for Him, you know, and, and pleasing Him. And when I think about this, I kind of think about, you know, like we're like God's little babies, like His. His children are like his little babies. Um, and you know when parents have a little baby and the little baby is is going to walk and it's trying to walk, do you know how excited the parents get? They get very excited, right? And they're like, oh, she's trying to walk. She's trying to walk. That's how God is. Like when you're young and you're just trying to walk and you're trying, he and he's like, oh, she's she's trying to please me. He's trying to please me. You know, he, he gets excited about it and he likes it. Um, he likes that we're trying because um, he looks at our heart. He looks at the motive and he, he likes that. OK, um, so it's better for you to try. But he really likes for you to be led by the spirit. OK, and um, when you're led by the spirit, it's kind of like it's like an urgency, like an urgency in your spirit. Like I have to go do this right now. And if you don't do it, you feel like, like you don't feel like you feel like you have to go do it. And the Holy Spirit will not go against the Bible ever. Okay. Cause the Holy Spirit wrote the Bible and it won't go against its nature. Um, the fruits of the spirit are its nature. Okay. So that's how you can kind of identify the Holy Spirit. And I want to read these verses too. This is John 3, 5 to 8. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Okay, so when you're a child of God and you receive the Holy Spirit and everything, God will lead you through the Spirit. You know, that's what he wants you to do. Um, he wants to do that. Because um, he has a plan for you, and that's how he leads his children, through the Spirit. Now this verse 8, I didn't really understand this verse um, until, you know, until recently, or maybe now, or you know what I mean? I understand it more now, is what I'm saying. And it says how um, it's like the Holy Spirit's like the wind, and you can't tell when it comes and when it goes so is everyone that's born of the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit, He will, like, I don't even plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll get ideas, 
And, and I used to actually plan out, okay, I want to make a video about this, and I write it down, I'm like, okay, I want to make this, and if I feel led to make it, I'll, let, I'll make it, and if I want to, you know, but now, basically, that day, I don't even plan to make those, vi like, a lot of the, those videos, they're just, he just puts them on my heart, and I just go make it, you know, and, and, and you don't know what he's going to have you do. That, that's what, like, I, w I won't know what I'm doing that day. I don't, I won't know what videos he wants me to do. Like, because that's how this Holy Spirit works. It's like, you don't know what he's going to do with you, <laughs> you know? Because, <laughs> you, you know, that, um, that verse about how man will, like, make his plans, but God is the one that directs them. And so, like, you can make your plans, but God will... If he doesn't want those plans, he's going to make his own plans, you know, and he wants us to yield and ha let him have control uh, of, of us in that way. You know what I mean? Like sometimes God will lead me to make lots of videos in one day and I'm just like, okay, father, I'll just make what you want me to do. <laughs> you know, I'll do what you want me to do because um, they must be important, you know? And this is also a good thing to understand that we are under grace, okay? Um, we shouldn't continue an in intentional sin, but what will happen to me is when I'm making videos, Satan doesn't like it, okay? And I will get condemned. I'll feel condemned about certain things. Um, I'll, I said in certain videos that they're not perfect, that, oh, I didn't say this perfectly. This isn't good enough that I said this here. What if people misunderstand what I said here, this and that, okay? Um, and that's basically Satan trying to come and condemn me. Because basically, like God, we are under grace and God likes that I try. And, and I'm led to make these videos. So he wants me to do it, you know what I'm saying? And, and even though I'm not perfect, he knows that. That's why Jesus came for us, because we're not perfect. And he likes that I try, like a little baby, you know? And that I, I'm obeying the Spirit that, and yielding to the Spirit when he wants me to do things, you know, make videos and stuff like that. Um, because that's what the Holy Spirit will do. He will... He is the accuser of the brethren. He will accuse you and he'll be like, look, look at this. Is this true? Are you sure this is true what you said? This and that. Like he'll put doubt into to you. And I'm just like, um, I didn't intentionally lie or something. Like, you know, he, he will come and confuse you and he'll put doubt in you and try to condemn you. So we have to understand that we are under grace. Okay. And God is just happy like a, like a father with a little baby that's trying to walk, trying to please him, it pleases him that I'm trying to feed his sheep and trying to help people, you know? Um, so that's good to, to remember, very good to remember, okay? Also something very, very good to do is if you do make YouTube videos, um, oh, okay, I wanted to talk about this too. Basically, sometimes when I make videos against specific specific things in Satan's kingdom, those demons will come and attack me, okay? Because they are not happy that I'm making those videos against those principalities. For example, when I made that video about the, the woman's appearance and how makeup and jewelry is in sin, basically what happened in my past, someone came to me and told me that makeup was sin and then someone uh, other people like made me view that oh maybe makeup is sin and it scared me and also in the past someone talked about how jewelry was sin so I was scared about it in the past you know um and it bothered me the religious spirits would bother me about it and and I had like a a, a stronghold in that you know even though I knew we were under grace and it must not be sin because God didn't show me it to, as sin and so God led me to make that video recently about how it's not sin and after I did that those demons came and attacked me okay and I got deliverance a lot of the like the, the demons were manifesting a lot um and, you know, stuff because of that, because uh, they didn't like that I knew that, 
I, that that I I knew I know now. You know what I'm saying? Um, because they would try to put me in bondage over that. So, so sometimes if you'll do videos specifically against certain principalities, they can come and attack you. Um, so it's good that we're under. We remember we're under grace, okay? God knows we're not perfect, and he knows our intentions and everything, and he likes that we're trying to please him. Also, this is very good. If you're making videos, um, and they're geared towards people in a certain situation that you're, you're directing them to, to, that you, this is what I, I will do sometimes. I will go, and I'll go on different YouTube videos that, that are in relation to what I'm talking about and I'll be like, come check out my video on my channel and I'll, and I'll post it a lot on certain ones, different ones on different comments so that it's like fishing. It's like you're fishing so that people will come, will know that you made a video, you know, because these videos are good just for subscribers to see and, and, um, children of God, but also I'm trying to reach the lost people that, um, that need help, you know, so that's good to do. Also on Facebook, they have themes on there that you can, you can post your videos on, on there. Like, um, that video I just did about attraction to the bad boy. Um, I just went and I, I went on to the 50 shades um, Facebook things and I would post my video there in hopes that some people would see it. You know, it's good to spread your videos out um, and, and tell some people about them online because it's like fishing um, and, and uh, God likes that. OK, um, you want to. And also, if people come to me with questions sometimes or or, you know, like you have a video there about that certain situation or like a certain teaching that you can share with them so they can understand it and you can share with them. So that's videos are very good in that way too. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to make this about that. Like it, it's sometimes God will just lead me to make many videos in a day or, and, and he will put it on my heart, what he wants it to be, you know, and I won't know like, um, I'll just be online. He'll be like, and I'll see something and I'll feel like a conviction in the spirit or like an urgency, like, like, and God's just like, you know, you need to make a video about this. And I'm like, okay, I have to make a video about this, <laughs> you know, and, it, and I won't even be planning it. You know what I mean? That's how the spirit, it comes, it goes. Sometimes I will get the idea though, that I want to make a video about something and I end up eventually making it. So he works in different ways, but it's really cool. So I just wanted to make this video about that and um, how it's good if you don't know how to be led by the Spirit yet, just to go out and try to please him in certain ways, you know, in small ways. And, um, you know, because he has a purpose for each one of us. He has stuff he wants us to do each day. Um, that's important. So he wants you to get into his will and be led by the spirit. So you know what you're supposed to be doing and what he, he wants you to do. All right. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.